Hello darklings, happy new year. Um, today I'm doing another unboxing for the Antipodean Witch Box. Uh, this is the December one. Well, it arrives in December and it's for January. So I'm really excited to be getting this again. Okay, here we go. Thunder Moon, 10th January. So, the resolution, Almanac for January 2020, 3rd January 1st quarter, 10th January full moon, the thunder moon, 17th January last quarter, 24th January new moon. And there's a list of what's in the box, which I'll try and um, read as I find the right things. Um, it's just a note saying, didn't get the yes, no coin, and it will be sent out separately. So we have some incense, uh, let's see if it's got some information about that. It's probably the Summer Bliss incense, the scents of lavender and copal evoke the relaxation on balmy summer night, let the heady scent of incense waft in the air and set the mood for summer spell castings. Uh, really cute little box. Um, and let's see if we can work out what that is. Metal spell chest. Made from recycled timber with a beaten metal design. These spell checks are as beautiful as they are useful. The act of locking your attentions in a physical object like a jar or a box is a powerful way to manifest your will. We'll use this spell chest in our ritual this month. The design on the chest has been intuitively chosen for you. Then we have purple agate. It's got information about it here as well. Um, I think it's just looking to see if it's the same information. It's just got a little bit more information in the booklet. Uh, then we have a red tiger jasper. Have some lavender. I love lavender. I've got some in the garden. I'm trying to dry it at the moment. But this is ready prepared, which is nice. Um, there's another red tiger jasper. They've given me two of the same by mistake. Um, having a quick look to see what other crystals and things we get. Um, okay, so they're not grass. Some hydrangea root. Uh, amethyst, which is absolutely one of my favourite crystals and one of the ones I'm most drawn to. Uh, there's the lid for the chest. Oh, isn't that lovely? I think they chose really well for me. And, ooh, a little pendant. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, I was working out where the camera is. It's like a little eye. Let's see if we can find the information for that. Celestial geometry pendant. This beautiful geometric pendant has layers of symbolism in its elegant design. Spend some time pondering its various elements to see which have significance for you. And then we have two purple candles. Yet again, a colour I've always been really drawn to, so that's great. Um, see if there's any information on this. Soy wish candles. These beautiful soy wax candles are perfect for spell work. They can be dressed with oils and herbs and carved if desired. And then we have some um, consecrated bath salts resolution. I really, really love the bath salts from Antipodean, which I've actually ordered um, separately a while back. A huge... <laughs> Well, not huge, but, yeah. but quite a large selection of them. I think I got like five or six different ones because I love them. And um, as the weather gets a little bit cooler and I'm more in the mood for baths, I'm looking forward to using all of them. So that's great. Uh, some more incense. And it's a resolution card. I welcome the satisfaction of resolution in my life. I step forward confidently strong in my resolve, knowing my power. So let's have a look through here. Um, yeah. It also has um, the intention setting ritual for resolution, which goes with the card. And on the back it has thunder deities. The aspects of deity are related to thunder and storms. Thor, the Norse god of thunder, lightning and storms. Mani Mekala, I think. I'm having a bit of trouble with the running writing. <laughs> um, 
As Hindu and Buddhist goddess, the guardian of the sea, she protects the virtuous and brings storms to punish evildoers. Shango, Nigerian god of thunder and lightning. Astarpe and Bronte, two ancient Greek goddesses of thunder and lightning, respectively. Kadlu, Quito, and Init, Initro, Initrog, an Inuit trinity of sister goddesses who are responsible for thunder, lightning, and rain. And there's a restorative lavender, honey, lemon, mad limes recipe on the back. And everything in the box kind of smells of lavender, which is lovely. So that's the witch box delivered in December for January. I'm really excited for it and for the ritual. And I'm really happy to be getting it. Oh, and the pendant I'm wearing is from a previous witch box. It's got a pentagram and a little raven. I love ravens and crows, um, hence my last name. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I'll see you around and have a happy new year.